Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about exporting 3D in Maya to Godot 3. The first thing to mention is that in Maya, the grid is absolute. So if you change the metrics of the grid, the model that you created is still always going to be the same size that you made it. Now the exact metrics of the grid don't really matter, but what does matter is that you've built your model to a real world scale, or at least a consistent unit. Now before we can export anything, the first thing we want to make sure we do is delete history and freeze transforms. What that'll do is it'll make sure that everything is zeroed out and the scales are set to one. Now from Maya to Godot, there's two file types that you can export. You can export a DAE file or you can export an OBJ. Now the way that we do that is by selecting what we want, going up to file, export selection, and then you want to navigate to where you want to save your file. In this case, I'm going to save directly to the Godot project, and then I'm going to give it a name, and then I'm going to go to the file type, and what you want to do is you want to look for OBJ or FBX DAE, but as you'll notice, they're not in here. So if they're not showing up for you either, you're going to want to go to the plugin manager, and you're going to want to turn on FBX, and you're going to want to turn on OBJ. Now once you enable those plugins and you go back to that export selection window, you'd see DAE, FBX, and OBJ under your file types. Now the nice thing about the DAE file format is that you can export out a lot more than just meshes. You can export out animations, cameras, lights, but at this point there's a few more settings that are more important to go over. So if you scroll down until you get to the advanced settings, you'll see scale factor, and you'll see that automatic is ticked, but we don't want that. We want to make sure automatic is unticked, and we want to change this to centimeters. This will make sure that there's a correct interpretation of the scale in Godot. And then the next important thing is the axis conversion. You want to make sure that the up axis is Y. And then you just want to give it a name and hit export. Now since I saved mine in the project folder, when I come back to Godot and I click in the window, it'll load in right away. Now what's nice is when this is imported into your project, it comes in as a scene by default. So we want to make sure that this was imported properly. And we want to do two things. We want to open it up and we want to click open anyway. And what we'll do first is we'll click on the scene root and make sure that the transform is all zeroed out. And we'll make sure that the mesh is also zeroed out. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll make sure that the scale is correct. So in Godot, each one of these grid units are a meter. And from Maya, when we exported, we have a grid that's set up as a meter as well. So we can tell that this is correct. Now, even though I didn't have animation turned on when I exported the model, there's still an animation player that shows up. So if you don't want to have an animation on import, you want to go to the import settings and scroll down to animation and you'll see import and you want to untick on and you want to click re-import. And then when you come back to your scene, you'll see it doesn't have an animation player now. Now let's come back to Maya and export an OBJ. Now the first thing you should notice is that there aren't many options for an OBJ. And that's because an OBJ can only export mesh data. But there's another issue with exporting OBJs from Maya. You can't set the scale factor. By default, the metrics that it exports is about 10 times bigger than what you want. Now when an OBJ comes into your project, it comes in as a mesh. So if you want to change it to a scene, you can go to import and change the import type from mesh to scene. And then what you want to do is you want to click re-import and then it'll ask you to save and restart the engine. Now with the engine restarted, our OBJ is a scene. So we're going to open that up and we're going to take a look at it. And right away, you can tell that this is not the correct scale. This is wrong. There are ways to fix this, but it's not worth it. One way you can do it is by going into import and you can change the root scale, or you can go to the mesh itself and you can scale it down. But these aren't really good practices. You don't want to do this. So as far as Maya and OBJs, I would recommend not using them. All right, guys, this covers exporting 3D from Maya into Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.